Salute, salute, salute. Bow, what it is, what it do, what's happening, man. Nocturnal thoughts of a real quick video. Then I'm going to get out the way. Devin Haney is changing his mind. At first, he was not interested in going undisputed at 140. I thought he was talking about, you know, beating Ryan Garcia, getting a big bag, and then moving up to fight in uh, the welterweight division. But now he's talking about going for undisputed in the 140 division. And in my mind, I feel like that's for him mentally to be motivated to train for this fight and in a way sort of look past Ryan Garcia because Ryan Garcia is really not offering up any kind of mental resistance in this fight. His whole, his whole campaign so far has been more of like save the children. And I don't know how authentic and genuine that he is about it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's just a flavor of the month. I hope not. I hope he continues after this fight to keep the fight going for saving children. But in my opinion, for this fight, I, I really just can't 100% believe that Ryan Garcia is totally focused on fighting Devin Haney and trying to uh, fight for the children. It's almost like the same thing when he was using flavor of the month of mental depression. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and mental health. And those things I feel like you just can't play around with. Mental health is not a joke and it's not to be used just to kind of, you know, play a card and saving children from uh, abuse and sex trafficking and things like that nature. I don't think they should be used as distractions and used as, you know, um, some kind of a plight just to get your brand bigger. Now, I don't, I don't want to put that on Ryan Garcia. I don't know the case but I'm not focused on that. I really, I really just rather just see Ryan Garcia focusing on the fight. And that's what I see Devin Haney doing. You know what I'm saying? He's focusing on his career as far as boxing and his training. I watched the training footage. Every day counts when he's showing basically like an old school day in the life of the boxer. You wake up, you eat what's on your menu. You go run sand dunes. You come back home, you rest, you eat, you go spar, you go lift some weights. You know what I'm saying? You come home, you rest, you eat, then you go back out and you run up in the mountains in the snow. You know what I'm saying? Uphill with your crew, uh, pushing yourself mentally, physically and spiritually. He's totally focused on that. But I think also an extra motivation for him now would be to go on and conquer the rest of the champions at 140. Matias, Teofimo Lopez, um, Roly Romero, should he get past eyes out pitbull crews so i can uh really you know appreciate that as an old school boxing fan looking at devin haney over time he's proven to have an old school boxing mentality um so he has to get over a big fight with ryan garcia i think that's going to bring a lot of attention to his career because ryan garcia brings a lot of attention you know it could be for whatever reasons uh, I think Ryan Garcia, a part of me do, does believe that he's genuine and authentic in his efforts. But at the same time, I feel like it's also sort of a distraction and it's also sort of a scapegoat to, you know, him not to put forth his absolute best effort. And when he loses the fight, he can use it as a moral victory that he did it for, you know, what I'm saying the support of saving kids. And to be honest with you, I really can't knock that uh, as far as Ryan Garcia. I don't think he's a complete fighter. Uh, from head to toe. Uh, I think his training is kind of from the shoulders down or from the waist up. Um, I don't know necessarily the ins and outs of Ryan Garcia and Derek James, but so far it just doesn't look totally cohesive. I feel like it's going to be um, miscommunication and uh, a fighter that's kind of going in there with a with a 50% game plan and 50% freestyle. And I feel like Devin Haney is going to be more prepared to make adjustments. Um, I just feel like he's training as a samurai right now. Eat, sleep, breathe, defecate boxing. And uh, it's just more and more manifesting him into the perfect fighter from the ground up. And mentality wise, when he's talking about going for undisputed in 140, then that makes me feel like that solidifies his mentality as a boxer of old school cloth, the old school pedigree. So I salute that. But I wish both fighters uh, health and uh, 
you know, have a good fight, a good show, and let the best man win. I salute both fighters, but right now I'm looking at Devin Haney as an old school classic samurai gladiator, old school fighter. And, you know, that's what to me boxing is really all about. Just the old school classic grind, putting in work, putting in discipline, dedication, and focus on your craft. Those are my thoughts, y'all. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Salute, salute, salute. And if you're new to the channel, you know what to do. Sub up. Bow.